Jay, first off, I just want to say, awesome video yesterday. It is so cool. I was totally caught off guard to see that you were doing a video with somebody else other than me. So that was pretty sweet in itself. And panicking, that was so cool to see you in one of our videos. And I want everybody to know that my reference to M&Ms on Monday was with no knowledge of yesterday's video happening. I thought it worked out very well. <laughs> Jay, today I want to talk to you about being yourself, and I think because I'm going to be talking about that, it is only right for me to be in an uncut, unedited version of this video. I just have to go with whatever comes out, because in a way, that would be being myself, and I do not want to be hypocritical in this sense. So, the reason I want to talk about this today is because I feel like it is the like most common advice anybody will ever give you, and at the same rate, I think it is incredibly ambiguous, because being yourself to me can mean a lot of different things. For example, when I was growing up, I was always troublesome to my mom. I was always throwing tantrums in the stores and just like hell to raise, I'm sure. But then I was also like the best student in school. I never misbehaved. I got great grades. And it was so weird because I was never actively thinking that while I was at school, I had to be more proper or polite or anything like that. That's just who I was at school. So if somebody told me to be myself, it was one of two options at that point in time, school me or home me. Okay, so one jump cut, you're getting 95% real me today. But the next version of myself I did not find out about until I was like 15 or 16 and starting to talk to the girls and in relationships and all that stuff and it was this own fresh batch of hell that kind of evolved and turned into definitely its own segment of my life where I could definitely see the difference between me being myself in school and at home and now with girls and I would assume that my friends wondered how I was ever even able to get girls based on what my personality was like around them but at the same time I do not feel like I wasn't being myself it was just definitely a different different version of myself. Okay, so I swear my memory card got full and that's why I'm having a second take. And if you're even wondering why I'm making such a big deal about these takes anyways, because I am terrible at one take videos. It is really hard for me to carry my train of thought through this entire thing. But for my question of the day, do you think being yourself truly would mean that you have the same versions of yourself in different segments of your life? Or do you think that you can have different versions of being yourself like I do. Leave it in the towel section down below and Jay, I will see you tomorrow.